Okay, welcome back to the Dublin Academy of Maths. Leaving Cert, Already Level Maths, Series 7, Episode 9, The Line. My name is Michael. The questions now, these questions are coming over to my workspace, so you can look at them there and don't take them in. I'm going to do simultaneous equations to show you lines of intersection. Now, this time we're going to do images through the origin. Okay, now that's a different, uh, uh, similar rules. You do a translation, okay? Find the equation of the image of the line under the translation 0, 0, 0, minus 3. Okay, so you're going down. This is a different one, okay? It's the image of like the last one. And these are solve equations using points, using simultaneous equations. Right, now I'll show you how to do that, so don't worry about that for a moment. We've already done these in, in series 2. Series 1, sorry, should I say. Now, this is one of the last, this is the last one I think on this one, yeah. I'm going to do the rest I'm going to do on paper questions. Now if you want to get the uh, extra vid videos available, with the help, you get a complete, complete series with support, costs 20 euros. Now, uh, I have a writing tablet, so if you have problems in your email and you say, I have a problem with such a question, I can send you the, the question written out on, in digital form on the tablet. It's amazing what we can do nowadays. But anyway, so, um, 20 euros, and you get the support for that series. Okay, now there's six series in each papers. So if you have a problem with say, you know if you have a problem with paper two on the line, you know that it's the series seven, it will be labeled as such on YouTube. So available on YouTube and Dublin Academy at gmail.com is my email address. Now, um, okay. Now it says L there is at the line. Now we've been working on L so it's because it's kind of handy you know but remember that it doesn't always be right. so now um, it says uh, find the image the image of L under translation in the origin they would say in the origin okay now well, well, first of all, we have to find uh, find points on this line. Okay, so you know how to find points on the line. Make x equal to zero to find your y value and so forth. Okay, so so you put them in two times zero, plus y is equal to four. That's my first set of points is zero four, and then when y is equal to zero, when it cuts the uh, x-axis right here, uh, it's the two times x plus zero is equal to four, x is equal to two. So you got two, zero. So that's my two points. Okay, so I got, I put them in, I got two, zero here, x comes first, and I got the four, zero here. And you can do that with any line. Sorry, <laughs> zero, four, for the y. Okay, so remember you can do that for any line. Okay, now the next thing is to translate the line, okay? So I have to bring it through the origin. In other words, I'm getting this and I'm going to go, well, I'll explain now. So we've got, we've got two points. So I can pick, uh, so I'm gonna go from two zero and from zero four to the origin, okay? So uh, zero zero, what happened to zero zero? X went, you see it there? X went down two, okay? So I went down two, so x from, from x went down two and y remained the same. Do you see that? From two to zero, zero to zero. So you do the same thing again, and it's out the other side and it's down two, so zero minus two is minus two and zero. So that's your new set of points. Okay, and for one of them, that's the two over here. And then you got the zero four. So zero four goes to zero zero. What happened to the x? The x didn't change. What happened to the y? The y went down four, okay? And it goes along again, out the other side, right? And so x doesn't change, so we left with zero, and the y goes down four, minus four. Okay, so we've got two set of points now. We've done the translation through the origin. Okay, now what does that mean, through the origin? It means they're all going out this way. You will see that the line will, will transverse down here. Okay? Now. Um, so, I have to put in my points. Okay, so my two points is minus two. So 
it there and uh, 0 minus 4 okay 0 minus 4 so it's roughly okay so your 4 is uh, roughly around there so you got the same point it's probably out a bit it will be you know as you know yourself it will be um, the slopes will be equal they're the same okay in other words if you join those two lines together they'll make a parallelogram okay right doesn't look so those two lines will be equal in length and in slope okay so the image of L we call it L1 L2 so L2 is same slopes M of L2 is the same of M, M of L okay we said that before also the length of L2 is equal to the length of L that's the uh, how you denote the length of a line, okay? And it's a positive result. As you know, no negative area or negative in lengths. So, okay, so back to the equation. What is the equation of this line? Well, we just put it into the formula y minus y1 is equal to n times x minus x1. Now, we have to, we have one set of points where we can pick, choose either, okay? We can choose either 0, 4, or, uh, sorry, 0 minus 4, where the points are, 0 minus 4, or two zero or what was it? Minus two zero. Okay. So these are our points, the minus two zero there. Okay, and you got this line out here, and it's, it should contact with here, which should be uh, zero uh, um, what's this? Zero minus four. It's actually it's down here. Zero minus four. Okay. It actually has transversed down here, okay, 0 minus 4, but you get the whole layout here, right? So um, I'm going to pick uh, x1, y1 for this, this one, and uh, now the line, uh, what's the slope of the, of, of, of the original equation? L, what's the slope of L over there? We know that L is um, uh, two, what's L? 2x plus y minus 4. Now I'm getting the slope of L, I'm going to put it in the form of y is equal to mx plus c, to get the slope and there's the slope of, uh, of the new slope of L2 okay because they're equal so the slope of L2 is equal to the slope of L1 so L is minus 2 so the slope is M is minus 2 and I put them into the equation now I could get the slope by using my other set of points by using the formula y minus y1 y2 minus y1 over x the x's or the difference of the y is over the difference of the x's that will give you the slope if you have two points. But because I have the equation of the line L, I can now know that the slope here will equal. So I manipulate the formula in this, in, to find the slope. I don't need to do all that maths. Okay? So y, putting in these points, y20 is equal to m, which is minus 2, times x minus x1. Minus, minus 2. Remember that now, okay? Minus, minus. So because y is equal to minus 2x plus minus 4 minus by by this becomes minus by minus becomes a plus 2 and then you got minus 2 times 2 minus by plus is a minus so you get and that's it bring the 2x minus 2x because I want to make it positive plus y plus 4 is equal to 0 that's the new equation of L2 okay so that's how you change it through to the origin. Okay, you pass it through to the origin. So that's minus. Uh, that's sorry. That's zero minus. I really should have put it to say properly. So that's translated. That sound. That's zero minus four. Zero minus four. That's one point. And then you've got on this line. You've got two. Minus two zero. Okay, so that's the new set of lines. So you can see they're actually there uh, representative. Okay, represented. Right. So that's that's uh, that's the image of a line in uh, the the origin. Okay. So you're just following translations all the time. Okay. And um, now, if I have one line crossing another in. Uh, in a, the diagram or in any space if we have one line somewhere I mean lines will all they will cross each other eventually you know and sometimes the solutions are decimals but they do cross each other okay so that's the x and y axis so I have two two lines here say that's L and that's K right 
So k is 2x plus y uh, plus 4 is equal to 0. Right, so that's k over there. And they say L is, uh, where is L? Oh, L is our, our, our 2x plus y minus 4 is equal to 0. Okay. Right. Okay, now. Um, this is a very similar. Okay, but we'll change these around. I don't. I don't like that. Don't, the way do it. This is the the actually it's the um, reflection of one on the other. Right. Remember we got them last time. So we'll stick with L. Uh, we'll stick with L. Two x plus y minus four is equal to zero. So that's L. And then we'll have k is. All right. Here it is two x plus three y. Minus eight is equal to zero. Okay, I used the, the, the image of the, the last question, the image of the could they would have they wouldn't connect because they're parallel, okay? So some of them don't connect. Now I'm looking at this equation here and I want to find I want to eliminate one term so I can solve it. If I have only one term in a question, I can solve the equation in the in the equation. So I've got two terms here and I've got two terms here. So what do I need to multiply L when added will cancel. I need to multiply minus 1 times L. Right, so that becomes minus 2x minus y plus 4 equals to 0. Okay? And k stays the same. So do you see what I'm doing? But once I once I do it to 1, I must do it to all in the line like. So I multiply everything by minus. And I see that they cancel. And I see minus y plus 3y is 2y. Minus 8 plus 4 is minus 4 equals to 0. 2y is equal to 4, y is equal to 2. Okay, you see that there? 2y minus 4 is equal to 0. I'll put it up here. 2y minus 4 is equal to 0. 2y is equal to 4, y is equal to 4 over 2, which is equal to 2. Okay, so that's one set of points we have. Okay, one set of points which can be put into any of those equations to find your other y x value. Okay, so this is your y value. As you've seen here, y is equal to 2. So I just put it into, into any of the equations and I'm going to pick L. Okay, so y is equal to 2. So when y is equal to 2, I can use uh, k as well. When y is equal to 2, so we've got 2 times x plus 2 minus 4 equals to zero. I have one unknown. Do you see what I'm doing here? I found my value for y because I know that when they connect they have, it's like the same as when f of x and is, equal, is, is equal to g of x, the functions. Okay? You can solve them by bringing them over and, 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 and reducing the equation and then finding the factors and then the roots. Okay? So um, back to this. So 2x uh, is equal to minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2. Bring it across becomes 2x is equal to 1. Okay, so the connecting point is where L intersects K is equal to 1 and Y is equal to 2. 1, 2. Okay, very easy. Now, you will, uh, simultaneous equations are um, kind of difficult and they're in series 1, simultaneous equations, because you could have 2x, 3x plus... 2, 2y minus 3y is equal to 6 say, and 7. Now what do I need to do here? I need to get rid of the y's because there's a minus and a plus here. But I need to multiply, say this is a and this is b. This is rough now. I need to multiply a by 3. 3 times a and 2 times b to cancel. So 3 times a is, you will see it now, 3 2's are 6x. 3, two, three two's are 6y. 3 6s are 18, 2 times b, 2, 2, 2 times b, that multiplying everything by 2, 2 6x, 2 times minus is minus 6y, 2 times 7 is 14, add them, 12x, they cancel, and uh, this is equal to, uh, whoa, 20, uh, 20, 32, okay, 32, looks like 32, yeah. So at 12x, so x is equal to, well, in this case, it's going to be a fraction, okay? Right, 2.312 to 36, 3 point something, 2.8, whatever, okay? But you understand, and then you get your answer, you've got your x, you get your answer, and you can put it into any of those equations. 
one that suits you, preferably a positive. Okay, so you don't have any minuses, any problems. Okay, so the easiest one you can put into it, put it in. Okay, so that's simultaneous equations with where you have to multiply both of the lines in order in order, in order to eliminate uh, one of the, the elements. Okay, now just uh, quickly. I'm just going to show you a few lines here so you can get the idea of what's happening here. If I pass a line through the origin here, now that's supposed to be through the origin, um, on this line, if you read off, everything is going to equal each other. So this is, if this is 2, this is 2. Okay? And in this case, this is where everything y is equal to minus x. Okay? So on this line, so this is minus 2, this is 2. Okay? When you're reading. Okay, so that's the, that point there is minus 2, 2, and this point here is 2, 2, okay? So you see, now remember, little thing here, the angle here is 45 degrees, right? Because it's cutting the origin in 2, not many people know that now, as is, you have to deduce it, that's a right angle there. So you say, I know the angle, I know that the, the, if I can find the angle of that, that's tan of 45 degrees. Okay, now I don't have my calculator with me, but uh, I will the next day show you. So you would press tan of 45 degrees and it's equal to 1. Okay, that's a slope of 1. Alright, so that's your slope and you've got a set of points so you can find the equation. Do you get what I'm saying here? Okay, now, any other lines are special lines? Yeah, just uh, if I have, uh, say if I have a line out here and it's going straight down, that's the line y is equal to 4 because it's on the line on the point there 4 which I've rubbed out okay with the line so that's the line uh, sorry that's the line x is equal to 4 everywhere you read along there x is equal to 4 and if I had 4 up here everything along there would be y is equal to 4 if I continue this on I don't know whether you can see it but I can bring it down here and if I had minus 4 there, and I had a line going straight across, that would be the line y is equal to minus 4. And you would know that. Every time along that line, that point there, is y is equal to minus 4. Same as the line, everything along that point there, x is equal to 4. Right, now, uh, that seems to be everything. I'll just, uh, just recap cap <laughs> again. Right, um, find the image of the of 2x uh, minus y minus 4 equal to 0 to the origin. I've shown you that. And uh, if this is the last last um, the last the um, episode 8, this question was done. Now solve and using simultaneous equations. Now there's a question here, you have to multiply the top by 2. There's no double multiples here. Oh, no minus 2x here. Okay. I've rubbed this. I've rubbed this out on the parts of this, but you, you can see it from when you go back to the start. There doesn't seem to be any problem here. Get doing these questions. When you get doing these questions, you gain, you lose your fear and you gain confidence. And that's the only way I can put that. Okay, because we all had to start somewhere, and it wasn't easy. But anyway, best of luck. And remember, Dublin Academy at gmail.com. God bless.